Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron. I'm going to talk to us a little bit about the ease of reading of the King James Version of the Bible. Hear me out because many of you, even pro King James people, don't think it's easy to read. But let me give you some statistics. And this is some things I use when I do like a seminar on the King James or something. And I'm getting this from the Comparative Readability of the Authorized Version Bible for Today. BFT 2671 by D.A. Waite Jr. There it is. Sister Waldron's still not able to zoom that camera in and out. So we're going to start with some interesting statistics. Thanks for being here. Do check out our other videos if you get a chance. Um, you may have known that the English language contains 500,000 words. It's actually closer to a million now. This was written in 1996. But did you know how many of these words make up 65% of everything we say, read, or write? So the creators of Proscribe 3.0 said 500 words make up 65% of everything we read, say, or write. These 500 words contain an average of 1.3 syllables. 400 of these 500 words contain between one and five letters. 13 of these 500 words, or 3%, contain eight letters. None, 0%, have 10 letters. So most everything is pretty short. So then uh, Mr. White gives some interesting statistics. The KJV, and we're going to get into more specifics of these statistics in just a moment. The KJV averages about four letters per word, actually less than that. And 80% of its words have fewer than six letters, exactly as the case of the 400 of the 500 most commonly used words. Only 3% of the words in the KJV New Testament exceed eight letters, which is exactly so it's like modern speech. Now, he's got a wonderful analysis of modern writing samples. So tech journals have an average reading uh, program of grade 19. So like doctoral level uh, words, in a sentence, 22 words a sentence, syllables per word, 2.0, nine plus letters per word, 26%. And then we get into the Wall Street Journal. Now, when we get to the King James New Testament, I just want to tell you, of course, I saw Bibles for years. I know the little statistics out there of the KJV's this reading level. This is a, a guy who did a deep dive on multiple computer programs to get this, including the gold standard of Rudolph Flesch, the guy who wrote Why Johnny Can't Read, Why Johnny Still Can't Read, that's used all over, was anyhow, for standardization of ease of reading in the business world and all over. So he knows what he's talking about. So we understand there's other charts out there that say different things. This is his research that is invaluable. I think you would, and I've seen people try to refute this, by the way, and yeah, they just, it, it didn't work to my knowledge. Wall Street Journal, grade 15, 23 words per sentence, 1.7 syllables per word, and 23% of the words are nine letters or longer. New York Times, 12th grade reading level, 26 words per sentence, 1.5 syllables a word, and 13% of their words are nine letters or more. The USA Today, ninth grade level, 18 words a sentence, one and a half syllables a word, and 13% of its words are nine letters or more. People Magazine, now this is as of 1996, it's probably different now, obviously. Maybe not different, though. People Magazine, eighth grade level, 14 words a sentence, 1.5 syllables a word, and 10% uh, of the words are nine letters or more. USA Today is 10% nine letters or more. I'm not sure if I said that. Children's books are seventh grade level, 14 words a sentence, 1.3 syllables a word, and 8% are nine letters or more. The KJV New Testament is a seventh grade level, 18 words a sentence, 1.3 syllables a word, and nine plus letters a word is 3%. Now, what I do, and I've done it a few times here on the channel, I just get a Bible, open it, and I say, now, besides 
place names, you know, like Beersheba or Chorazin or Nazareth or something. And that's going to be the same basically in all translations with extremely rare exceptions. Take that out of the equation, flip the Bible open everywhere, and almost every word, almost every word in the King James is going to be one syllable, five letters or less almost every word it's fascinating i have people i'll just hand them about open it anywhere let's read it let's go and uh so there's some more things in here as well now he's actually got rudolph flesh writing in the art of plain talk and he says this uh, the King James Version is referenced several times in this little book, 210 pages, always an example of clear and readable in English. On a chart which rates the average number of affixes per hundred words, very easy is 22 or less, very difficult is 54 or more. Quoting Dr. Flesh now, the letter continues, and this is Rudolph Flesh, the best example of very easy prose, about 20 affixes per hundred words of the King James Version of the Bible. This would be like mention is a word, then unmention, un would be an affix, mentioned would be an affix. And that's even with like the ETH on the end of some words, an EST on the end of some words. And so here is the guy who has dominated the field of language linguistic studies for years and you know Noam Chomsky that would be a different thing saying the best example of easy prose is the King James Version of the Bible so I'm going to before we get into some other fascinating statistics I'm just gonna do this a couple times I'm just gonna random this is it random now, ah, I, I could drop it and just let it so we're in Genesis 35 verse 1 and this is a paragraph Bible so we need to start verse 1 and God said unto Jacob arise go up to Bethel and dwell there and make there an altar unto God now let's see and one syllable three letters God one syllable three letters said one syllable four letters unto who two syllables four letters Jacob proper name arise two syllables five letters go one syllable two letters up one syllable two letters two one syllable two letters Bethel proper name and one syllable three letters dwell one syllable uh, five letters there one syllable five letters and one syllable three letters make one syllable four letters there one syllable five letters un a n one syllable two letters alter ooh two whole syllables with five whole letters unto two syllables again with four letters god one syllable three letters that one syllable four letters appeared ooh two syllables again with one two three four five six seven eight letters <laughs> unto one syllable four letters excuse me two syllables four letters the one syllable four letters when one syllable four letters thou one syllable four letters fleddest Ooh, two syllables again so that's four eight letters from one syllable four letters the one syllable three letters face one syllable uh, four letters of uh, one syllable two letters Esau proper name thy which is still one syllable four letters of thy one syllable three letters brother ye tough word brother two syllables seven letters and then it, I mean it just keeps going you can do this just anywhere boom and it was at Jerusalem the feast of the dedication and it was winter and it was at I mean, you've got four words beginning. I just randomly did this from John 10. The first four words of verse 22 is a total of five, eight, ten uh, letters, all one syllable. That's a total of four words. I mean, it's just, say what you want. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. And so Old Testament word average he does it with the rsv nkjv on and on and so forth the king james has the lowest syllabic word average and this is with the es 
ESTs, the ETHs on the end. 1.303 syllables per word. In the New Testament, it comes in third. It's tied with the NASV for third at 1.323 letters. And for the entire Bible, uh, syllables, I'm saying, 1.32 syllables. And then for the entire Bible, it's second behind the RSV, 1.310 syllables per word. So it's, it's far less than even one and a half syllables a word and far, far less than two syllables a word. Absolutely amazing. Now, as far as word length, the number of letters per word in the Old Testament, it's 3.968 in the entire Old Testament. Now, I think he includes proper names like Jerusalem and Meher Shalal Hashbaz and on and on and so forth in this all of that included it's only 3.968 less than four letters a word on average and in the new testament it's 3.975 still less than four words uh letters per word and then in the entire bible King James Version is 3.968, whereas like the NIV is 4.028. Now, this is even with the ESTs, ETH, you know, all of this. And it's not quite as good as the RSV, NASV, NKJV, very close to them. But 3.968 letters per word. And when you get into the uh, sentence structures, it's the same thing as well. Now, um, words that are six letters or less. In the KJV, 88.4% of the words are six letters or less. Seven letters or more, 11.6. That's in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, 87.94% of all the words are six letters or less. 12.06% of the words, which is the second best, it's first in the Old Testament, 12.06% of the words are longer than six letters. For the entire Bible, the King James has the shortest word length of any of the RSV, NASV, NKJV, NRSV, NIV, or ASV. So absolutely amazing. Now the word sentences per uh, punctuation point. Now the ASV of 1901 and the King James often used colons and semicolons where we would use periods today. If you take that into account, then the average word per sentence in the Old Testament is about 15.3 to 14.6, somewhere in that neighborhood. Two different programs, Grammatech 4 and Grammatech 5. In the New Testament, it's 15.5, Grammatech 5, 14.5, and Grammatech 4. And that's some of the shortest sentences in existence. Um, much shorter than anything else except in Grammatech 5. Uh, no, it's actually, yeah, in Grammatech 4, the NIV is a tenth of a word shorter. So for the entire Bible, the sentence, if you take colons and semicolons, like if you do Psalm 23, which he does, showing it. Uh, it's only 15.4, 14.6. Even if you don't, it's still like 24.5 and 23.6, which is still an example of easy reading. He's got so many more things in here about the ease of, of uh, reading the King James Version. And I wish he had it summarized. He does kind of have it summarized at the back, but it's not like totally so i wanted to do that um read this to you my bible 
When I'm tired, the Bible meets my need. When I'm perplexed, it's wisdom great I heed. When I'm tossed, it's promises I read. When I'm faint, on manna sweet I feed. When I'm sad, my Bible is my stay. When I'm afraid, it comforts me alway. When I'm alone, my Bible's near at hand. When I must fight, his word doth give command. When I would serve, my Bible tells me where. When I would sing, it gives me both song and air. When I would give, the Bible tells my share. When I would love, my Bible helps me care. When I would run, the Bible sets the pace. When I must pause, it shows a quiet place. And when I yearn to see my Savior's face, His lovely form is outlined there in grace. When I'm old, the Bible is my friend. When I'm weak, upon it I depend. When I must die, it blesses to the end. All through my life, I will its truth defend. That's by Gertrude Grace Sandburn, the author's grandmother. That would be D.A. Waite's mother. She wrote some other good stuff, if I'm not mistaken, some of the stuff. God bless you. You can read your Bible. Pray. We'll see you later. Bye.